Did you know that more than 95% of Singapore's electricity is generated from natural gas? And since we don't have natural resources in Singapore, we have to import natural gas from around the world via ships and pipelines. Natural gas that is imported via ships is first cooled into liquefied natural gas or LNG before leaving its home country. And since the volume of natural gas is reduced by 600 times when cooled to liquid state, shipping LNG is more cost-efficient than shipping natural gas. But LNG needs to go through a process to be converted back into gas before it can be used for power generation. And for this little LNG who has never seen the world, venturing into the unknown can be exciting but intimidating. Luckily, he'll soon be in the safe hands of the experts from the Singapore LNG's Corporations Terminal also known as the SLNG Terminal on Jurong Island. Hi, I'm Rafi. I'm an engineer from SLNG. These carriers arrive at the SLNG Terminal carrying LNG that will be pumped into the storage tanks and later will be vaporized into usable natural gas for industrial use. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the SLNG Terminal. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Let's take a look around. Here on Jurong Island, LNG is converted into usable natural gas in a process called regasification. However, this process requires a lot of energy. So how do we vaporize LNG into natural gas without expending more energy? We use our tropical seawater. We're surrounded by an abundance of it. And it's the perfect temperature to heat LNG into natural gas without wasting energy. But regasification using tropical seawater has its challenges. LNG is stored at a low temperature of minus 162 degrees Celsius. It needs to be heated gradually. For this to happen, a large amount of seawater is needed. When the seawater has done its job of vaporizing the cold LNG, its temperature decreases. If we return large amounts of cold seawater into our waters at once, it may affect the marine life. This is why we monitor and control the temperature of the water returning to the sea and ensure that the drop in temperature of the returning seawater is less than 5 degrees Celsius. While waiting for your turn to vaporize at the open rack vaporizers, you will be stored in huge LNG tanks like this for the rest of the LNG. Since you exist at a low temperature of minus 162 degrees Celsius, the large difference in your temperature and the ambient temperature will cause you to heat up. In other words, you will turn into natural gas prematurely. The pressure in the tanks may build up and if left unvented, it may cause the tanks to rupture. But we can't just bend the storage tanks because we'll be wasting the natural gas that is released. That's a waste of money and resources, and it's also bad for the environment. There's a way to solve this, and it's through the boil-off gas recovery that happens at the compressor and the recondenser. Let's learn more about the science behind this. The natural gas is compressed rapidly to LNG via an adiabatic process. This means that there is no heat exchanged with the surroundings. By the first law of thermodynamics, the increase in internal energy is equal to the work done on the gas. The area under the pressure volume graph represents the work done on the gas. It is equal to the increase in internal energy and hence an increase in temperature. The temperature of the gas will be raised slightly, but the pressure of the gas is increased and volume is greatly reduced. After the gas has been compressed, it is mixed with some of the LNG from the tanks at these recondensers. It's then turned back into liquid and mixed with the rest of the LNG that will be vaporized at the open rack vaporizer. After going through the vaporizer, the LNG becomes usable natural gas. It is transported through our natural gas pipeline for Singapore's use. So there you have it. As of today, natural gas is the most practical energy source for large-scale power generation in Singapore. It gives us security of supply. It's cost-effective and environmentally friendly. With our strategic geographic location and robust economic infrastructure, Singapore has the potential to be an LNG trading hub for the region. 
SLNG constantly innovates to improve its reliability and operational excellence while increasing new business opportunities for Singapore's future. That's great news for all of us and for the future generations of Singaporeans. Till next time.